Book lovers, my name is Kiri and this is Spines and Spoilers. It is also the beginning of my second November reading vlog. In my first reading vlog I read five books, um, the first of which was It by Stephen King. I gave it two stars because it was terrible. I did not like it at all. Watched the movie instead. The next book that I read was Nothing But Black and Teeth by Cassandra Kaw, I believe is the name. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> got 2.5 stars. <laughs> it had the opposite problem um, from it. It was, it's, look at the length. It had really good bones. It really did, but there was no meat on those bones. It was too short. It wasn't able to elaborate on all of these amazing ideas. Um, I think that she should make it into a full book, you know. Thankfully, after that, I read Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. I think I'm doing this in order, but I'm not positive. Um, at any rate, I gave that one a 4.5. I love T. Kingfisher, and this, I'm pretty sure, was my favorite work of hers so far. Um, it just, it feels like every book of hers just gets better and better. And, like, theoretically, I just want to give all of them, like, 4.5 to 5 stars. But, uh, I don't know, it just feels like an unfair metric now. The next book that I read was Gallant by Victoria Schwab. Um, that was an interesting one. I enjoyed it more than I expected. Um, I ended up giving it four stars. Um, I don't have a lot of critique for it, honestly. Uh, it did kind of drag in some places, which kind of held it back, but I just Overall, I enjoyed how the entire thing was handled. There definitely were parts, though, where it started to drag, and I just started going like, okay, come on, let's go. The fifth and last book that I read um, for my first reading vlog for November was The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, this one ended up getting four stars, which is great. That was like three four-star books in a row, at least. Um, Again, I don't have a lot to say about it. There were a lot of extremely creepy and unsettling moments in this book, but in a great way. Uh, I did feel like it could be a little disjointed at times, which bothered me a little. Um, I would have liked a more solid um, narrating structure. But this is the first book by Stephen Graham Jones that I have read. It ended up getting switched out for My Heart is a Chainsaw because I couldn't find a copy of that, and I'm kind of glad that it did. Of the five books that I want to read for this part of the vlog, number two, um, I want to read Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, it is about a girl of privilege, I believe, whose father is a lord and her uncle is a mortician. She is supposed to be ladylike and dainty, but she is more fascinated by the dead. So she sneaks out um, and works with her uncle at night, basically and ends up stumbling upon these series of murders and trying to solve the case of Jack the Ripper. As someone who studied for two years to be a funeral director and embalmer, um, I can relate a lot, I think, to this character maybe, and I am very interested to see how they handle this. I don't know if that's something that I've really mentioned on this channel, but I studied for two years to be a funeral director and embalmer. Like, I have literally could open dead bodies. Anyway, another book that I want to read is Dead Water by C.A. Fletcher. <laughs> um, this is about a plague that hits an island that then ends up basically quarantined and unable to reach the rest of the world. I don't know much more about it. I think it's set in a Scottish isle. It sounds really interesting though, and I'm super eager to read it. I don't have physical copies for the other books that I want to read in uh, this part of the vlog. <laughs> um, the first one is The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I have an ebook and the audiobook for that. Um, and it is basically a modern retelling of Carrie. From what I understand, this one incorporates a lot of commentary about race, but I'm not positive. I've also heard that it basically has a direct parallel to Carrie almost completely. The next book that I would like to try and read in this part of the vlog is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. I love some Neil Gaiman. I 
adore his work. I don't think I've ever read anything by him that I didn't want to read. Um, this one though, I think it's about a secret uh, layer to London, like it has an underground essentially, and someone stumbles upon it. I don't know a lot about it other than that. The fifth book that I want to try and read in this little portion of this particular reading vlog is Valley of Shadows by Rudy Ruiz. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure this is the one that is supposed to be a western. But it's also supposed to be horror, so I'm interested to see how those two genres mesh. I'm also interested to see if I like this at all, because I don't generally like westerns. But it's horror, so... I forgot to mention that I'm also keeping track of all of this in my notebook. You'll see my ratings there for all of the books that I've read this far. And I'm also keeping track of the other books that I'm reading alongside because I also have um, advanced reading copies that I need to get read before, you know, certain dates. Um, I'm kind of... I, I have deadlines on those, so I have to keep reading them regardless. Um, they're not really part of the vlog necessarily, but I might be reading them like in the background, um, and they add to my total count for the month. Um, the most recent one that I read was The Illuminaries by Susan Denard. Um, just chef's kiss. So good. So, so good. Um, there were some inconsistencies because I got the audiobook and the ebook for that one um, through NetGalley. Thank you, NetGalley. Um, and there were some inconsistencies uh, between the two of them, but not in a way that really altered the content at all. Now for just like a basic update for, you know, the vlog. Um, at this moment in time, it I think it's about 10 p.m. Um, I am going to start Stalking Jack the Ripper. Um, I have an audiobook copy for it as well, so I'm thinking that I'll read the first chapter through the physical book and then maybe switch to audiobook so I can get some homework done at the same time or something like that. Um, I know that people say that multitasking can interfere with the quality of work, but it kind of helps me focus sometimes, honestly, like oddly enough. I have no idea why. Like there are times when I have three things going on at the same time and it, it doesn't bother me. Sometimes it really helps. Like there are some things where, yes, I have to just focus on that, um, but other times, I don't know, it just helps to have other things going on at the same time. Yes, I have my blanket. Have some coffee. I've got my books. So I'm just gonna chill, go ahead, read this first chapter. It starts off going hard. I placed my thumb and forefinger on the icy flesh, spreading it taut above the breastbone as Uncle had showed me. Getting the preliminary incision correct was imperative. It even has like a picture of someone being cut open. I don't know if I'm allowed to show that on YouTube, but it's something I just did. I just realized I could probably see better if I put my glasses on. I love that she is comparing stitches to embroidery work because um, after I took my um, embalming classes and stuff like that, there are so many stitches that you have to learn. And I have 100% <laughs> used those stitches in my actual like needle work whenever I'm sewing and stuff like that. Okay, so that's one chapter down. Two also starts with a blood splatter. Um, I don't know, I'm enjoying this so far um, a lot more than I thought I would be. I might just keep reading this for a while. Okay, so I'm a little over three chapters in, and uh, it does feel like it's getting a little, I'm not like other girls-ish, um, so hopefully that's not a factor that continues throughout the book. I just realized that I look like I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> I'm just cuddling under my blanket and I'm breastfeeding an infant. Yeah, hopefully that won't continue to be an issue. I do kind of want to just continue reading for a little bit though. I love how some of the chapters have actual like photos from like the Victorian age. I don't know, I find that super interesting. I'm seven chapters in. I'm gonna make a guess. I'm gonna say that it was her dad that was doing all of this. I have no idea how correct or incorrect I am. I'm probably wrong. But, you know, 
Okay, never mind. I think maybe he's supposed to be a red herring, but I'm not really sure. I think that she's about to add a second love interest, and I'm so over it. New theory. It's Nathaniel. He's too nice, which means either he's going to die, or he is the villain. Mind you, if we were going for historical accuracy, it would be no one because he was never caught. I don't know how or why it happened, but I stayed up all night reading this book. And it was good, I enjoyed it, but there were definitely elements that I didn't like. There were a lot of cliches, <laughs> like a lot of YA cliches in particular. I didn't like the not like other girls feeling that kept on coming back. Um, that being said, it wasn't a bad book at all. I was worried that that was going to be like all it was and it was just going to keep on coming back to that. And yeah. So, I don't know, the fact that I stayed up all night and read it, <laughs> I feel like that means it, it, it's at least like 3.5 to like 4 stars. Um, it was good. I feel like my brain just like latched onto it and could not stop reading. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I don't know if that's indic indicative of the writing or neurodivergency. Uh, there's no telling. I just know that it is almost 5 a.m. Yeah. Good morning. It is 4.15 a.m. on November 7th. So I went to sleep at a reasonable hour and then my brain reached 3 a.m. and was like, nope, we're done. That's the amount that you're sleeping tonight. Three and a half hours. You're good. That being said, I've already showered and like dressed up a little bit and put on makeup <laughs> I made coffee um today is going to be a busy-ish day not like breakneck speed or anything so we're gonna be making a series of stops one I'm gonna drop my my husband back to I'm gonna come back to the apartment because nothing is open that early in the morning seriously it's frustrating but then whenever the world opens back up again I have a series of stops I need to make um, I will need to stop at the library to drop off my books and see if they have and any of the other ones that I'm going to be reading, so that's one of the stops. Um, I'll need to go to a used bookstore because I have credit there and I told my, one of my younger siblings that I was going to look out for books for them there. They teach elementary schoolers so they always need kids books around that age range um, and I have a lot of um, money added to that account. Hi! Uh-huh. I also need to get a couple of small things from Dollar Tree and a couple of slightly bigger things at Aldi. There are other things that I would theoretically like to do, but I don't think they're going to happen. I would like to film a tag video today. Is that going to happen? More than likely not. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Um, I would also like to theoretically go to the park, but I don't know if I'm going to have the spoons for physical exertion after all the other things. I'm sure you can hear it sometimes, but COVID completely killed my lungs and it has drastically decreased the amount of spoons that I have, I feel like, whenever I'm going about my, like, day-to-day -day errands. But reading, yes, this is a reading vlog. Um, <laughs> I read, like, a chapter of Valley of Shadows and a chapter of Weight of Blood to see which one I was feeling more. Um, I think I'm feeling Weight of Blood more, I'm not sure. I don't have a physical copy of either, um, so I'm going to keep a lookout for those when I'm at the library today. I do have the ebook and the audiobook for both of those though, so those are the two mediums that I will be consuming them with. I also have a ton of homework that I need to get done, but I'm currently experiencing major homework burnout. Like I have been an A-B student my entire life. I've gotten a couple of C's, but yeah, pretty much all A's and B's entire life. <laughs> and I put so much pressure on myself uh, to do well in school, and I realized I'm 32 years old. I'm the one who controls my expectations here, and if I'm just passing, that is okay. And since I made that realization and that decision, I have been sleeping a little bit better, so I think that might be part of what was bothering me and what was keeping me from getting any good sleep. Because even though I only got three hours of sleep today, um, it was actually good sleep. I slept the whole time, it wasn't interrupted, it was good. Anyway, for now, I have about one and a half, two hours until my husband wakes up for work. 
so I'm going to have some coffee and probably do some reading. Maybe Animal Crossing, we'll see. Maybe both. Well, I was trying to take some thumbnails uh, for my first vlog, and why don't I record over here more often? I've got the flags, I've got my studio Jibu back there, Hayao Miyazaki, my lights, and like a cat usually. There's like a Junji Ito blanket. Why do I not record over here? Okay, so I've been reading some Weight of Blood. Um, I'm not very far in, but thus far it feels like too direct of an adaptation. I don't know if that makes sense. It just feels like it's too, I don't know, similar. Like, whenever someone does a cover of something, you expect them to add their own flair to it, and so far this just feels very, like, copy and paste, almost. Which is honestly a shame, because this is the book that I was looking forward to the most out of any of the books. Maybe the entire readathon, honestly. Readathon? No. Vlog. Reading vlog. I haven't done a readathon in a long time. I should do that. So earlier when I was outside, it was it was dark, um, but just came out. It's like 9 a.m. now, and my eyes, the sunlight seared my eyes. I'm over halfway through The Weight of Blood, though, um, and it is not a direct, you know, copy and paste of Carrie. Um, there are a lot of similarities, but there's also commentary on race and... Um, sundown towns. Sorry, my brain is no longer awake. Uh, I kind of sat back down and got comfortable, and my brain started to shut back down. But that's okay, because I have a little bit of money on my Starbucks account. So I'm going to go get a coffee, and then the errands will begin. Okay, that was stop one. I uh, got a uh, Dollar Tree taken care of. I got a cute little scarecrow. He has the other arm. It just doesn't want to come around. Um, but yes, I didn't have any, like, non-spoopy decorations, so I figured I'd get a couple. It doesn't look like I'm going to need to make another grocery trip because, um, I actually found everything that I needed at Dollar Tree, surprisingly enough. Uh, I didn't expect that to happen. So now I'm going to go to the used bookstore and then probably the library. I've been listening to Weight of Blood, um, like, as I drive, and I only have about two hours left in the audiobook, and shit's hitting the fan, so we'll see how the ending compares. <sighs> so I can't say what happened, but something happened that I should have seen coming. And my heart hurts. And the book, I mean, not, not in real life. Oh my gosh. I'll say that I forgot that this was taking place at like the peak of the Black Lives Matter uh, riots. Um, I will put it that way. Like, I don't want to cry in the middle of this parking lot, but I am pretty close. Found Neverwhere. I also found this, which I'm not gonna get, of course, because I have my own copy. So I forgot that the bookstore doesn't open until 11. That being said, I did find Neverwhere at the library. I went ahead over here. Um, and I also found the Hacienda, which isn't on my list, but I've been wanting to read, so that's cool. Um, I've also been told that I was cute by like three people today, um, in non-creepy ways. Which is a low bar, I guess, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but I am going to head over to the used bookstore. They should finally be open by the time I get there at this point. So I found a few 
cute kids books for my siblings classroom. Then I also found A Discovery of Witches, which I have warmed up to since I originally read it. What's funny is this might actually be my girlfriend's <laughs> original copy um, because she donated a lot of books to this bookstore before she moved to Japan and this I, this is probably one of the ones that she donated honestly. It's beat up, the spine's cracked, and there's like small little coffee stains on it so yeah it, it's, it's probably hers honestly. She's a little rough on books. Um, and if she happens to watch these, then love you. Me. <laughs> okay, but that's legit just a face, right? That's a face. <laughs> Why are you like this? But they had expectations for the effects to be on Jurassic Park levels. At some point, the script was retitled tool and the ways in which it deviates from Bakshi's normal narrative style. Bakshi was raised in the densely urban Brooklyn neighborhood of It's about 9 p.m. and I'm going to head to bed shortly or at least lay down. I don't know if my brain will let me fall asleep, but we'll see. Um, but I wanted to update you. I finished The Weight of Blood. I ended up giving it about 3.5 stars. Um, just so much of it was kind of copy and pasted. I started Valley of Shadows, I'm about a third of the way in, and it's reminding me why I don't read westerns. I am bored out of my mind, and I'm probably going to switch to another book when I wake up. Good morning, it is 3.08 a.m. on the 8th of November. So my brain is done with sleep, basically. Um, but I think I might pause Valley of Shadows for a little while because it is boring me absolutely to tears. That's nothing against the author. I just don't generally like westerns and I knew that and I tried it anyway and I feel kind of bad because I know I don't like them. I was just kind of hoping that this one would be different but so far it's not. <laughs> I'm going to take a break from reading in general for a couple hours at least. Um, cause I need to edit some videos and do some homework and all that jazz. Hey, Tenzin. You have someone who is not a fan. She doesn't want him on her couch. I can't handle you sometimes. Like, do you see yourself? I'm about to grab a couple of things from the store. Um, it is so dark because daylight savings time. <laughs> I forgot to say, I did start Neverwhere though. I didn't bring the physical copy with me though because I'm just supposed to be like popping in and out <laughs> without any time to just like stop and read a book. I am back home and I'm about a hundred pages into Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Um, I often forget that he is the one who wrote Coraline, but the two are so very similar, at least the style of writing is extremely similar and never wear. Anyway, I think they're pretty close. Um, this is just more long form fiction. Um, it's really good so far. Of course, it's no game and like I've said, I don't think I've ever read anything by him that I didn't enjoy. <laughs> to explore the like underworld of London though, which is pretty interesting. Good morning. It is November 9th. Um, I'm kind of not feeling great today. Like, I can't wake up. Um, and I don't know if it's like a mental health thing <laughs> or if I'm getting sick. I'm brewing some coffee though and hoping that that will help whatever is going on. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, I am about halfway through Neverwhere. Also, look at this cute little bookmark. I think uh, my younger sibling, Faith, got that for me a while back, but I'm not positive. I know it was like a Christmas gift. Also, I'm just reading the back of this book now, and one, look at Neil Gaiman, Stratton. Um, also, a dark contemporary Alice in Wonderland is such a great description of this book. One thing that I forgot to show you guys um, is that there is a little map at the beginning of this of the London Underground, which is very cool. 
I absolutely love it when books have, you know, maps and outlines and stuff like that at the beginning of the book. That's part of why I really enjoyed uh, Christopher Paolini's books, because it's almost always got a map at the beginning and then, like, a long appendices of stuff at the at the end. Like, there's just all this extra material, and I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like when you watch a Blu-ray or a DVD and there's, like, all this bonus material added on, and it, yeah, I'm a fan. I just got good news that has, like, vastly improved my mood. That and Ezra, you know, squishing me. <clears throat> I talked too much shit and she left me. <laughs> now she's watching Cars. But yes, I got approved for the new T. King for sure arc, um, A House with Good Bones, and I'm really excited about it. I also got approved for Bad Cree by Jessica Johns, which I'm so excited for. The issue is that I'm super excited and enthused about, like, all the books that I get so it makes it so difficult whenever I get a new one because then I'm like oh no I have to read that right now like immediately it's the same struggle as with like regular books actual books like I've got several books on that shelf I haven't read let me tell you the new book it's so shiny and and appealing I must read that one first okay now I'm officially distracted from the book I'm supposed to be reading Winchester Cathedral, an old-fashioned English shrub rose, grows to four feet high and four feet wide, produces masses of large, loose-petaled white roses, occasionally with a touch of pink, fragrant, repeat bloomer. We're starting with vultures? You already have my attention. I adore vultures. Seriously misunderstood creatures, vultures. But anyway, I'm going to switch back to what I'm supposed to be reading and stop getting distracted I can read that in my free time. Ah, and I dropped my book. Look at this guy. This handsome boy. Good morning. It is November 10th. I want to try and get some recording and some editing done today, as well as some schoolwork. I know that I have some stuff due soon. But, yeah, we're not going to talk about that right now. For now, I'm going to go get some coffee and get fully woken up before I start you know, my actual day. I forgot to mention that book-wise, I finished Neverwhere. Um, that was good. I'm not at all surprised it's a Neil Gaiman book. I love all of them. Like, I don't think I've ever read a Neil Gaiman book and then been like, oh, well, that was a total waste of my time. I kind of started actively reading A House with Good Bones by T. Kingfisher afterwards, even though that's not part of this whole um, arrangement here that we have going on. What I think I'm going to do, though, is read the first couple of chapters of, like, The Hacienda and Dead Water, and then decide which one I want to read. Are you comfortable? <laughs> so I added my rating for Neverwhere, and I realized that I'm in a bit of a slump for this video, I guess, because I gave Stalking Jack the Ripper 3.5, and The Weight of Blood, 3.5, and Valley of Shadows, 3. So far, Neverwhere is my only four star for this portion of the vlog. Um, we'll have to see if this next book is any better. Also, I realized that I said earlier that I was going to have to choose between Dead Water and The Hacienda. The Hacienda isn't even on my list. That's just a book that I picked up from the library that I wanted to read. I don't even know why it was put in the pool. So I guess I'm reading Dead Water next. First, however, I'm going to get things set up for a video that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to record a couple of things for tagged videos and then something that I'm going to add on to uh, the first part of this vlog. <sighs> okay, so I just filmed three videos in a row. That was fun. Um, I think I had too much coffee because now I kind of just want to go, 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 and I don't have it in any other videos that I can really film at the moment. Decline <laughs> on Main Street. Apparently, we had to make it a definitive <laughs> statement that there were no horses allowed on this road. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta make sure. So, this is probably the last time that I'm going to update today, possibly for the weekend in general. I'm not sure. Um, we've basically gotten just like hit after hit after hit tonight found out that my mother-in-law is in the hospital because she had a stroke 
and um, my sister got into a car accident. Someone crashed um, into the back of her car. Um, so that's two relatives in the hospital today, one, one that will be tomorrow. Uh, so that's a lot of stuff going on. Hello everyone, it is Future Carrie again. Um, so I didn't film anything else for this particular vlog because of all of the things going on with my family for over the next few days uh, from that point on. That being said, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I should have the next vlog up soon if you want to get an update on um, how my reading actually went for the rest of that week. I hope that you're having a good November and December, though, whenever you end up watching this. Feel free to like and share and subscribe if you would like to. I understand if you don't. Um, but what's most important to me is that you remember to love yourself. Especially around this time of year. <laughs> Alright, bye.